the next Splatfest and potentially final fest of Splatoon 3 has been announced, and these are my predictions for it. This is LED of LED Games. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. This particular Splatfest, the Grand Fest, is focused on the question, which is the most important to you? The past, the present, or the future, and it takes place September 12th through September 15th. Of note is that this particular Splatfest will actually have an entire extra day for this event. Typically, Splatfest begin on a Friday and end on a Sunday, at least for me here in the US. But this particular fest will start on a Thursday and it will last until Sunday evening. These are the days and times for my region, so adjust according to where you live, but we're gonna have an entire extra day for this particular fest. Which I think having a whole extra day for Splatfest is pretty cool, especially for something this grand. And I promise you, I did not plan to say that. If it wasn't clear already, this is a very special fest and we're going to talk all about that. Before we do that though, this is an ongoing series I do on my channel where I predict who I think is going to be the most popular for every given spot fest. And if I'm wrong, I have to do challenges that you all leave in the comments down below. And you guys are going to want to leave your challenges for this particular fest because it might be the last chance that you have for Splatoon 3 because this might be the final fest, which I haven't processed yet. It's not confirmed. We don't know. But I've been doing this series for over a year now. Every single fest, except for the one that was depressing, where it was the end of the world. I'm sorry, I did not want to touch that one. Every other one, though, I have done. <laughs> Ever since Spicy Sweet Sour, I have made these videos and they're very near and dear to my heart. So if you want to see me do challenges, potentially, because this one might be a very close one actually. This one's very hard and difficult to pick who is going to be the most popular. But now is the time, so make sure to leave your challenges down in the comments below before the fest starts. I will say, before we actually talk about the Grand Fest, we have to talk about the timing of the reveal of Grand Fest. It was weird. It was weird. They announced Carb Fest and then like two days later, literally like no time at all, they were like, oh yeah, by the way, there's this gigantic fest as well. And like the pasta bread rice fest, like hadn't even happened. It wasn't going to be a long time until it did happen actually. And they were like, just back to back, here's these best reveals. The timing of it was very odd. It is what it is. I mean, I'm excited for Grand Fest and Carp Fest was fun. It's just, it could have been spaced out a little bit differently in my opinion. So, as mentioned, this is a very special Splatfest, the Grand Fest. We saw a teaser for this in the last season trailer, where at the very end we saw this little jelly walking up in like the desert area where they have the upside down Eiffel Tower, and we saw them going up this hill uh, wearing like the bracelet, like the concert bracelet, and like their gear. And we weren't sure what it was at the time, but there was some speculation that it might be teasing Final Fest. And here we are now at Grand Fest. Still not sure if it's the final one, but it's Grand Fest and it's super exciting. There's a lot of stuff happening. We then got the official trailer for Grand Fest, which had new music, which by the way, the music was so hype, so good. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to hear more of the music. I already know it's gonna be amazing just based off of the little that we saw of that one song. It's gonna be good. And we're also gonna be getting an entirely new world slash like plaza location to go in because essentially Grand Fest is kind of like the Coachella of Splatoon 3. It's this giant concert with all these different stages and we're gonna be able to walk around in like the desert area. So fun. 
fun, so cool. I genuinely can't wait to see what it is that they have there, other than the stages, of course. But from what we saw, obviously each of the idol groups the Squid Sisters, Off the Hook, and Deep Cut are gonna have their own stages. And then there's gonna be like a central stage where I think all of them are gonna get together and perform at some point in time, which is just super exciting. Very cool to see like how involved they're gonna be. And especially since they're each getting their own teams to represent, which we'll get to in a minute. The idols look amazing. Can we talk about that? Like the theming for this particular fest is so fun. They look beautiful. And I have to say, out of everybody, Deep Cut looks good, okay? Deep Cut looks good. Like Shiver, Fry, Big Man, all three of them are like showing up. <laughs> They're showing up. They look really, really good. I'm not going to address what Big Man is wearing, but it looks... <laughs> they look good, okay? They look good. I also really like to see all of the jellies jumping around and like just having a good time, like seeing them with like the lights. It's like the Splatoon concerts that they actually have like in real life in Japan and everybody has those like lights moving around. Like, I don't know, I think that's really awesome. And I'm just interested to see like what all is in the area, what else can we look at? I'm gonna be spending a lot of time just enjoying the space because I don't know if we're gonna be able to go back to it. I'm not sure if this is like a one and done, you're not allowed to come back. So before we get Get into the actual predictions. Let's talk about idol matchups. And this idol matchup is very different because typically what I do is I talk about how Shiver, Fry, and Big Man match up with the respective teams. But this time around, completely different. We're actually having each of the idol groups represent each of the teams. And so we're gonna have the Squid Sisters representing Team Past, which of course, it makes sense. They are, you know, the beginnings. <laughs> they were in Splatoon 1. Of course they would be representing past. And then we have present. We have to go in order and so the present is going to be represented by Off the Hook, which is the idol group from Splatoon 2. And then we have Deep Cut, which is going to be representing the future, which is, you know, this all makes sense. It all makes sense, of course. I will say, there's been some speculation on whether or not the winning team for this particular Splatfest is going to like decide the future of Splatoon 4. So like, let's say hypothetically team past wins, then all right, then we're gonna be like living in the past or uh, there's gonna be some like, we're gonna go back in time somehow or maybe it'll mess with the aesthetics. And that could be said for team present or team future, I will say. It's very fun to think about, very exciting to think about. I love some of like the theory crafting that people are doing and like just our community is very creative. Of note though is that <laughs> Chaos versus Order, technically Chaos won, but then Side Order was like <laughs> an entire mode in the game. It was like Order was actually the winner somehow. <laughs> so take it with a grain of salt of like just how much influence it's gonna have, but who knows? Maybe it'll have a lot of influence and we just have zero clue whatsoever. But I think this is a really awesome theme. I like the theming of past, present, and future, and I think it's a really great question to ask. A very difficult question to ask, really. I mean, the thing is, is like, if you were to just generally ask what is the most important, I would say that the present is the most important, but at the same time, you know, I think that future is so important to so many people and which is why in my predictions on who it is that I think is gonna be the most popular, it's a tough one. It's a tough one because I really think it's gonna be between present and future. I think a lot of people are going to pick team past Maybe because they genuinely feel like the past is the most important and that, you know, it would influence you and shape you as a person. But also we have a lot of people who love the Squid Sisters, okay? We have a lot of people who love the Squid Sisters and people are gonna choose because of that, because of like the nostalgia or because they just love that idol group. It is what it is, guys. People 
pick things <laughs> that they just like and that's okay. But then if we're gonna go back to the question, of course, very difficult, very difficult question uh, because I think both are obvious, all three are very important. But I would say if we were gonna think like now, like obviously like seize the day, right guys? Like what is now is the most important. It's the only thing that we have. It's the most important thing that we have to take advantage of every moment that we live. We are not guaranteed a future necessarily, but at the same time, like we're all striving for our future and all this philosophical talk. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what is gonna be the most popular necessarily, but my gut is telling me, I think that Team Present is gonna be the most popular for this particular Splatfest. However, what team I'm gonna be on, I genuinely have not decided yet. Let me know what team it is that you are gonna be on because I'm genuinely not sure and maybe you guys could like convince me as to why I should choose present or future or who knows, maybe I can see some really strong arguments for past. I don't know about that one though. I don't think I could be swayed towards picking team past, but surprise me. I am between present and future. I don't know. Also of note regarding who I think is going to be the most popular, I will say I think that a lot of people really like Off the Hook. I think a lot of people like Off the Hook. Very popular for a lot of reasons, but then at the same time there's a lot of people like me who, you know, maybe just got into Splatoon 3 and so they're not necessarily that familiar with the other idol groups, but they would have met Pearl and Marina through side order if they had the DLC. So I don't know, it's hard to say. It's hard to say, but I am locking it in. I think that Team Present is gonna be the most popular for this given spot fest. And if I'm wrong, I'm gonna have to do challenges that you all leave in the comments down below. This is a crazy video for me to make. It's so much fun and I hope to see you all in all the streams that we're gonna be doing. I'll also be making some other videos around this particular fest as well. But, you know, we don't know if this is actually the final one. Maybe it is, we're not sure. <laughs> My guess is that there's gonna be another big event after this one, all right? <laughs> I'm, I'm saying that, that's my other prediction, guys. There's gonna be another big event. We'll just have to wait and see. I wanna give a special shout out and thank you to all those who choose to support me on Patreon, Ko-Fi, and here on YouTube via YouTube memberships. If you'd like to further support the channel, you can do so by clicking on the links in the description down below to learn about my different platforms. And of course, just being here at the end of this video. If you made it to the end of this video, make sure to put purple hearts in the comments down below. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.